George caused a tabloid scandal over his alleged friendship with Saddam Hussein and was famously kicked out of the Labour Party for being a rebel. I, I, I'm not going to uh, uh, enter into a shouting match with, with that particular person. I like a challenge. It's an audience. I like an audience. I'd like to win. I see it as an opportunity. Please welcome George Galloway. George's nickname is Gorgeous George. And as a Labour MP, he twice met with Saddam Hussein in 1994 and 2002. Before getting into politics, he worked as a milkman. And he describes Fidel Castro as the greatest man he's ever met. He would least like to find Tony Blair in the house as he wouldn't like to carry out the first live throttling of a British PM on TV. His words, not ours. I'm the most famous. I was about to say, Tom, if it's worldwide, I'm the most famous. <laughs> Virtually every Muslim in the world, which is one and a half billion people, knows, knows me. who you are. Yeah. The nomination is George. I felt like he was picking on me yesterday and started an argument that wasn't really necessary and was arguing with me just because I believe in something, and that is that I don't eat meat and I don't wear fur. And he, I just felt like he was picking on me, and I just feel a bit bullied by him. You know, I just think he's, he's not a very nice person. I was in for one day. I got arrested outside the nuclear weapons base at Paz Lane for a sit-down outside the base, trying to block the base for the day. Yeah. i got to read it. No, oh, okay. sure that. At 7.13pm on Thursday, during a conversation with Rula about his punishment, nominations with Preston, George said the following. If I had been in with somebody else, that would not have been the three that I would have nominated. He, Preston, would have been one of them. He was hardly going to agree to put himself up. Chantel might have been another. He's not going to agree to that. It has become clear that George cannot grasp the fundamental rules that housemates must not discuss with nominations or influence other housemates' nomination. And uh, as punishment, Big Brother will now allow housemates to decide whether George should be permitted to nominate in today's nominations. Preston and George were both punished for discussing nominations. Someone. I went in there and said, oh, I'm sorry about breaking the rules earlier. I didn't say, like, Big Brother, I want to confess that I broke the rules. I just said, I was in a conversation and I said... Did you tell Big Brother what brick of the rules? Yeah, I, said, oh, I, I told George who I nominated earlier. Exactly. Sorry about that. You might well have told me then. Well, I didn't think it was a big deal. I do. You went in to tell Big Brother that you had broken the rules in a conversation with me, but you didn't tell me that you had done that. Because I didn't do it as a big issue. I just went in and said oh, in yeah. a conversation, oh, sorry about that, by the way. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. I would, it's not a fucking malicious thing. I think it was malicious. Of course it wasn't malicious, George. Stop being so ridiculous. You went in, brother, you, you went in and told Big Brother <laughs> that you had broken the rules with me, but you didn't tell me that you'd done that. But you can accept the fact that it wasn't malicious, of course. I don't accept it, no. Why would you think, what would I gain out of it? You hope to ingratiate yourself with Big Brother by apologising for breaking the rules. And what do you get from a great... That you're well, gonna... in the end, you got nothing. I think you're being very, very ridiculous, George. I think you're the one that's being ridiculous. Well, I think you're, you... You've gone, I mean, you've gone into a terrible strop over something which, if you read it carefully, is a perfectly logical statement of fact. I wouldn't have nominated um, uh, That's not the Michael issue. That's not my issue. And, no, it is your issue. You nearly choked when you were reading the, the material. It is your issue. You're upset. Now, just keep it in perspective. No. I mean, it was a shock. I was in shock. Do you know what I mean? Shock? Is that not a bit extreme? Shock. I was shocked. It's a game. It's a game. Well, I apologise for being shocked, but uh, I was. Nice New York.
Please, could you give the name of your first nomination and explain your reasons for this nomination? Um, my first nomination is going to be George. <coughs> I imagine that you expected that. The first week here, I nominated George um, mainly because I said I thought he was shifty, um, he was a bit crafty, um, which I now find out is completely and utterly true. I'm going to say George as my first nomination. And it's not the issue to do with him saying he would nominate me. It's not, it's not anything to do with that. It's uh, to do with the way he handled himself afterwards. He just made himself, he was being an idiot. What an idiot. I thought the world of him. I thought he was, you know, I was, I was, I was completely sucked in. And uh, I, I've lost a lot of respect for him. I just feel like I've come in here so many times and said what I think, and what a fucking, um, like, fantastic bloke I think he is. Now I've realised that that wasn't as true as I thought it was. My first nomination, I'd have to say, would be George. It, it seems to me, in my opinion, that he's extremely two-faced. On one hand, he's saying, oh, you're so beautiful, oh, look at you, and oh, and la 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 la, all these beautiful compliments, which is wonderful. But on the other hand, you know, in what we had to read um, for this in the, in the living room uh, a while ago, he said I could have voted off under any circumstances. So to me, in my opinion, from A to Z, I must have either completely offended him where he would <laughs> do anything or say anything to get me out of the house, yet he won't say anything about it, or he wants to take me on a romantic rendezvous and have his way with me. I can't tell. I'm confused. Nomination is going to be George. He always thinks he's right. What he says, it, like you know, order in the court. I think George is trying to run a bit of a s socialist dictatorship. Ruler and George are in the seating area discussing Saddam Hussein. When I met him the second time, I only met him twice. That was a proper meeting. Just the two of you, me and him, and three or four others. Uh, but but the meeting was between me and him. I asked to see him. And I, I then said to him, I fixed them eye to eye like I'm fixing you. And I said, Sir, I salute your courage, your strength, your indefatigability. And I want you to know that we are with you, Hattel Nasser, Hattel Nasser, Hattel Quds. Now, would you like me to be the cat? Yes, please. Okay, it's okay. Ooh. Don't be frightened. Come on, good kid cat. Good cat. Look. Shh. Push it, 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 Good pussy cat, yes. Good pussy cat. That's swami. Delicious. Good girl. Good girl. Now look at this little cream all over your whiskers. Mm. Yeah, yeah, good pussy cat, yes. Good pussy cat. Good pussy cat, that's better. Oh, what a good kitty. Oh, yes. Has it been a trying day with all those people coming into the house? Has it? You don't like it when lots of people come in, do you? You just like being alone with your mummy at home, don't you? In fact, people have made huge allowances for his aggressive, rude, and vulgar behavior. We all have. That they would never have from a white man. Never. It's got nothing to do with black America. I, I, I nominated one black person because that black person was attacking constantly the other black person. Yeah. Unbelievable. I was trying to be nice to George and be an adult about it and be, be civil and be sensible and you know it's only a game and that's his words and uh, all it is at the moment is I'm pissed off with him. I thought I had a really valid uh, friendship with him that was two-sided. I realise 
that he's just been playing a game the whole time and like I don't like to be a pawn in his game, you know what I mean?